In this video, we are going to install a WordPress plugin manually. Now, normally you can just install WordPress plugin automatically from the WordPress dashboard. But in some cases, there are premium plugins or other plugins that are not listed in the WordPress directory. So you may have to install those plugins manually. So if you want to find plugins that you can download, you just go to wordpress.org and click on extend and under the drop down menu select plugins now there are thousands of plugins in the wordpress directory so the easiest way to find a plugin that you want is just to enter a search term here and then click on search for plugins but if you're new and you don't know what plugins that you need you may want to check out some of the featured plugins here or you can also browse by the popular tags. So I'm going to download WordPress.com stats. Just click on download. And then I'll be asked to save a zip file to my computer. So I'm just going to click on save file. Okay, so now my file has been saved to my computer. All I need to do is find that zip file earlier and then just right click and choose extract here so now you can see the folder and this folder contains the files that I need to upload using an FTP program such as FileZilla just connect to your website uh, via the FTP and then click on public underscore HTML make sure you go into this folder and then find your blog file. So for example, I installed my blog in a folder called blog. All right? And then I want to click to WP content. And inside WP content, I want to look for a folder called plugins. Double click on that. So this is where you will upload any WordPress plugin file. Now before you upload the file, make sure that you're uploading a folder that directly contains the files and not another nested duplicate folder. So I want to click on stats, right click and click on upload. Okay, so when you get a status message that directory listing successful, that means that all your uh, WordPress plugin files have been uploaded to your web server. Then, just log in to your WordPress dashboard. And under plugins, just click on plugins to see all your available plugins. Now, if you have uploaded the plugins file correctly to the wp-content forward slash plugins folder, then you should see the plugin appear here. So all I need to do now is to click on activate plugin. Okay, so it's plugin activated, which means that the plugin has been installed successfully in my WordPress blog. For this plugin, however, there's some additional information that you need to enter. But basically, the process of installing plugins manually is the same for no matter which plugin or which WordPress plugin that you want to use.